my hair is in a bun, I'm wearing my husband's t-shirt, you best believe there's some hard work about to go down. Okay, so today we're going to be making ugali. And it's so daunting to make it for you guys because everyone has their own way. When it comes to ugali, eh? some people like it to be nice and soft, they add butter, and some people want it the luya style. Come on, come on, you So first I start by adding my water to, obviously, a thick bottomed pan. I think that's the best thing to use. And then some salt. You want to make sure that the salt level is enough. Like it's to your tasting, okay? You don't want to taste. Okay, I think it's okay. All right, good. So I'm just gonna get this water boiling and then we're going to mwaga pour our ugali flour. Now I usually don't measure this pot, I just use my eyes. Um, but I'll try and kind of measure it for you guys in my blog. So you'll think like it's a lot, but it actually isn't, so bear with me. So I'm going to be using this muiko today, which is not the ideal one. Ideally, you want slightly bigger surface and fat, flat. Ideally, you want a bigger surface and flat. This is not so flat, it's got a bit of a dome in there, but it's okay. We'll use that. So yeah, use what you have. But to be quite honest, when you're using a spoon like this, you are going to face some challenges, and I certainly did. But anyway, just keep mixing it. Um, you want to break up all the pieces that are there, and they will all break up as you go along, provided that you've mixed it properly. If you haven't mixed it properly, then you'll still have lumps. So keep mixing. And sometimes I just like to add a little more flour as I go along. So over here, I felt like I could still add a little more after I first mixed it. So don't add too much in the beginning, you know, you'd rather add a little at a time as you go along. So, and then the process here is you just have, you have to keep mixing it. And you'll see that most of the lumps have already disappeared with all that mixing. But we're nowhere near finished. Making ugali is really a labor of love. So if somebody in your life is making you ugali, please, for the love of God, treat them well. Don't take them for granted because they're doing some hard labor for you to have a good meal. I'm just putting it out there. So now you just need to continue this process where you're bringing it to one side and trying to flatten it. And again, I need to mention, having the wrong spoon makes this such a challenge. But, you know, try the best you can with what you have. Just make sure that what you have is actually a strong spoon, otherwise it'll break on you. So you just keep piling it to one side and then taking the whole mass and turning it around. And that is the motion you're going to continue until you're ready. And the only way you're going to know it, you're ready is most of the time there's going to be a skin that's going to form at the bottom of your pan. Once that happens, then you know you're just about to finish. But until then, keep, I'd say keep swimming, but we're not, <laughs> keep mixing. So you just call your father to come and do this. Because my biceps and triceps, man. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with where we've gotten to. I've got my skin at the bottom and I've actually already tasted some and I'm I'm liking it. So I'm going to stop there because I don't want it to over dry and then I get bollocked <laughs> in the household. Because people will be picky in my house. Um, yeah, I didn't add anything extra to my ugali today. I just kept it natural, proper and simple like it should be. You want the grains to be cooked through, okay? And I mean, you know, there's no hard and fast rules when it comes to food. And just don't tell Aluya this, because I'm kosana. If you want to add milk, add milk. If you want to add butter or blue band, hey, it's your kitchen. You know, do do what you like, do what suits your belly, do what tastes good to you. Just because somebody has said, ah ah, ugali ni. Maji chumvi na na unga unga ugali pekeake. That does not mean that that is exactly what you need to stick to. Just don't start adding cumin and stuff like in here. Yeah? <laughs> anyway, but at the end of the day, make it your own and do something that fits within your palate. Okay, now see watch it. Don't let anyone bully you. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. So at this point, I'm just going to bring it all together into the center. 
And another clue that will show you that it's ready or another indicator it's ready is it all comes together and you can see it's nice and smooth, especially at the bottom. This step is optional, but it's something I personally like to do and that's just how I was taught to do it. Um, some people I know, they'll shape their ugali in the sufuria. Some people will use water to shape their ugali. I prefer to just put it in a bowl like this and just press it down and shape it that way. This is how I like it. I'm not saying that's the right way. It's just my preference. So let's go. Ah, yeah. Oh, and one thing I need to mention is when you use a bowl like this, it does tend to keep your ugali warm for when you're ready to eat it. And if you've cooked it well, it'll come out fairly easily. Oh, that's it. We're done. I feel like I've... Hey, maybe I can skip exercising today because, you know, I've done my upper arm workout. I think also like shoulders got a workout as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!